Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Late Night Garage. I just went my. In today's episode, we're going to be working on my 2011 Ford Escape. Reason being is, it has a bad TPMS sensor. It's old enough that it doesn't tell you which one is bad. Uh, I don't feel like dismounting four tires and replacing all four of them. Uh, we'll probably worry about that next time we put tires on it. The way we're going to accomplish that is through Forescan. And we're going to go through and show you guys how to do that today. So, just a couple disclaimers ahead of time. I just already did this, so I'm re-recording the start of this video. The reason being is I found out so far into it that I had saved my profile with a different OBD2 adapter connector, which did not have all the capabilities that we need to perform this function. I got this on... Amazon. It is the V-Gate V-Linker. If you go on to Forescan.org, you'll be able to see that this is the preferred method to connect your Ford Lincoln Mercury Mazda vehicle to Forescan. I'll put a link to this in the description so you can get the correct one for you. And again, if you have a profile that was already saved under a different adapter, you'll need to delete that profile and allow it to reconnect with this adapter. Now let's hop in the car and I'll just show you how to do this. It's really simple, really fast. Let's get in there. All right, so on this escape, we're going to get this the right way. we got to plug it in. Oops. Plug it in right there. And then this other end goes into your laptop. Now if you have USB-C, it does come with a converter to go to USB-C. Uh, we're gonna be using Forescan. I tried to do this uh, about two weeks ago and it failed. I have an old Elm 327 USB adapter that does not have the capabilities to do this portion. One other thing, so Forescan does have a free version. I'm not positive if this is going to work for you if you're running the free version. I really don't know. I have the paid version and I am fortunate enough that I actually have the, I think it's called a perpetual license or extended license. It's, it basically, it's a lifetime license. Okay. So first off, uh, we got to go, I just want to show you That uh, we went in here, we set up this connection, just how it tells us to in in the little manual that I showed you earlier. However, the manual that comes with it does not have this feature right here. And so since it's the only one there, I selected it. One thing to note, after you change this, you need to close down... As you see right here, you need to close down Forescan and reopen it. I have messed with this with the Elm 327, and I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. Um, I've, I've read that you need to delete this file in order for it to come back in and get all the correct information. So I'm going to close this down again, reopen Forescan. not equipped so it's going to go ahead and ask all these questions again and i hope this will bring us back to where we need to be there we are 
see what happened was i don't know if you just saw that i should have been better but i saved this profile before so that doesn't bring up this gem smart junction box now that we've got all that we can go in here this here is our uh, where we go in to make changes and then we're going to want to go right here actually i think we need to go right here and we're going to hit the play button and then we're going to go here to the tire pressure monitor go down to edit selected we're going to disable that click right there and i think we got to hit right and this should be done okay no more tire pressure monitor error message for this 2011 Ford Escape. It's very simple. The way you get Forescan is go here to forescan.org and click products. This is the latest version right here. You can get a two month free trial of this license. So I did this before I actually bought the license and I was really impressed. I used it to I used it to fix some ABS issues and also some airbag issues. It worked very well, so I decided to buy the extended license that is lifetime. Okay. Hopefully that helps somebody out. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of 89 Garage. I really appreciate you guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, all them happy things. Uh, let me know some other features that you may use Forescan with down below. And also, if this helps you out, please tell me. I really enjoy the feedback. Peace out.